Okay, so I just made probably a video about uh, MTG Finance and how I really didn't want to do it, but when I tell you a card and I like a card, it's not like we're going to go out and buy all of it and spike in price. The idea is, hey, maybe you don't need a plate, you don't have a place yet yet, this is an ideal time to trade for them, maybe even buy them for use. In my mind, what I'm doing, maybe it's illogical, and you can leave a comment below, is I'm telling you how to play magic on a budget. Like there's a lot of this magic on the budget deck building, right? But what if you could get the cards before they became like out of budget, right? Uh, the card I'm going to be talking about right now is Funded Break Regent. Seven bucks right now. It's good. It's very, very good. I play in every deck I have in standard right now, including dragons, including, including mono red, Mardu. The card is just bonkers for a 4-drop. I actually always play him on turn 3 because it's my little goblin guy who helps. And he's even better on a turn earlier. So the Funded Break Regent, $7 right now for a non-foil. I feel like the promo is a little bit more and the foil is obviously a little bit more. The card is insane. It just does everything you want for a turn 4-drop. It presents a Evasion Flyer that is hard to remove. And if they remove it, it's going to deal damage to them. If they do not remove it, it will deal more damage to them. It's kind of a card that you have, it says, answer me, but I'm also going to lightning bolt you to the face. It's a fantastic card. It just curves out so beautifully. $7, $28, you can buy a playset. set, it's incredible. You can trade for them for seven. If you can trade for these cards I'm talking about, uh, then that's the best. I'm not telling everyone, hey, we all need to buy 20 copies of this card. I don't understand how like people are drawing that conclusion from this video. I'm just saying that if you don't have a playset yet, it might be time to get a playset uh, or trade for one or in the future, whenever this card is in standard, as long as this card is in standard, it will see play in some type of deck. This I can almost guarantee just because of the power level of the card, but just like Storm, Break Drag Storm Breath Dragon, I purchased mine very early on for less than they were at the peak, much, much less than they were at peak. But I used them so many times that I'm okay. Like, it's okay. I don't need to trade them away right now. I can just take the loss because I got so much value from using them. And that's the idea I'm trying to present to you guys when I'm making these. Hey, look at this card. Look at this card. Um that you can make, you can have a tremendous amount of budgeting can be happen even before you have to make the crappy budget deck. You can get the playset of Thunder Break Regents before they become a $15 card or more. And you can, maybe you need that for your deck and it's $15, it's $60, that's no, no longer, I mean, now you're gonna have to trade for them. And typically when a card goes up that much in price, uh, like a Storm Breath Dragon type of card, I know it's not mythic, it's a rare, yes, I'm well aware of that difference. But when a card goes up to like $25 like Storm Breath Dragon was, then like everyone wants to play it. So no one's going to even trade it at 25. So your options are pretty much to buy it or over trade for it. Uh, it's a very interesting to me. I find it, um, I, I'm making this channel for people to afford magic cards. I'm not, we are never, I'm not, if you want to make money from this game or speculating on MTG Finance, my best advice for you is to go work at your local grocery store, to go ahead and work at, you know, Wawa or a 7-Eleven or a Walmart. And I'm not saying that in any offensive way, just the expected value of earning and the consistency of the earning and the fact that you don't have to like sit, you don't have to buy these cards and put them in and hope that the card somehow doubles in price so you can make a dollar off buy list. Um, is not worth it. But if you want to play with this card, Funded Break Region at $7. Get your play set. I'm not telling you to buy 20 of these cards. Just get your play set in case that this card does become, you know, a $10, $15 card. Even if it goes to $14, that's a savings of double. If you, it's way more than double if you trade into them right now. Because like I said, when a card goes up in price, they also become harder to trade for. And, uh, and they become much 
the people are using them in the decks. So instead of trading, putting them in the trade binders, they're using them in the decks. And now no one has one to trade. And one of the main problems of finding a Storm Breath Dragon when it's $25 is no one has one for trade. And then your options are to buy from your local store or buy online. Anyway, bye guys.